G'day everyone, part two of the commonality videos, so the parts that you commonly use um, and just some ideas on it if you're looking at stocking up on certain values and parts and things like that. Um, so the first video we looked at the resistors and the capacitors, um, including the ceramics. I left the electrolytics off because um, I wanted to break it up into three even parts. Um, so the electrolytics we'll look at in this video um, and we'll also look at um, diodes and um, I'll just have a look around in my parts um, collection and see if there's anything else that sort of fits into that category as well as we go along. So let's look at the electrolytics first. So you, electrolytics are very common, you use them in every single pro project, I can't think of one offhand that you wouldn't use it, and maybe some basic sort of buzz fuzz or something like that, um, but um, most, um, most of the parts, yeah, my, most of the pedals you use uh, at least one electrolytic. Um, so the values that I would say would be, would be common are 1, 4.7, 10, um, 47 and 100. Um, they're the most common ones. As you can see, I've got other values here. I've got 2.2, um, I've got 22, 33, um, but they're not used quite as often as, um, as the others, um, uh, as, as the other ones I said at the start. Um, some Occasionally with the sort of power supply stuff and some pedals um, have higher ones like 220 and 470, but again, they're not, um, they're not that common. Just realize that you can't actually see what I'm pointing at here, um, but it doesn't matter as long as you're following what I'm saying as far as the voice goes. Um, and they get quite big too when they get to, for instance, 470. Where's the camera? There. Um, you can see that one's getting quite large. Um, as it's like all capacitance, as the capacitance goes up, generally the, the size gets larger. But there are there are different um, sizes even amongst you know 470 microfarad capacitors. You can get ones that are five times the size of this one. The voltage rating will um, will influence the size of it as well and the quality of the capacitor and where it's been made. I try and source the smallest ones I can find because I know with pedals um, the spacing is um, at a premium, so you want to um, not use something too big. Also, don't don't you don't want to use something that's going to not fit on the um, on the PCB as well. Um, so that's a 470 there, and 220 is quite large too. But um, I've managed to get some that are pretty small. I mean, it's kind of where am I here? That's kind of like a hundred microfarad size. That's pretty good. So that's 220 microfarad. <coughs> you don't have to get low profile um, capacitors. I sell them. A lot of people use them. You don't have to get them. They are they're a luxury. They they're a nice luxury because they're they're pretty much all I use um, these days um, because you don't have to worry about the height of the pedal. But take into account when you put a socket, and if you're using sockets, as soon as you put a socket in, you're almost up to that height anyway. Um, so you might not gain any benefit from using low profile caps um, as far as that goes. <clears throat> the diodes are a little bit more trickier. Uh, I've got it, got it on the hand held at the moment just so I can show you. And I'll just briefly go through these um, because it could get a little complicated here. Um, an OA1160 is a vintage germanium. It's not something you really need to stock up on. It's more of a specialty diode. One, N4001 I would stock up on. Um, they're used a lot for, for um, polarity protection and a few other bits and pieces as well. Um, the BAT41 is good for um, as a clipping diode and that's one not stock up massively on but one that you want some on hand I would say. Um, these two are both vintage and a little bit sort of specialty. I don't know if I'd bother with those. That The BAT46 is um, a uh, more of an experimental sort of diode. I don't know if I'd bother too much with that, but these 1N5817 um, is the is the diode that's used in series for uh, reverse polarity. So that's actually, and it's becoming a more popular um, way of providing reverse polarity. I think it's a better way, personally, than using a 1N4001. Um, but um, that's a, actually, I've got a video on that. I'll, I'll leave it, try and remember to leave a um, link in the description if you want to check out the two different types of uh, reverse polarity, the 5817 and the 4001. Um, but that's a good one, and it's becoming more popular. I'm noticing I'm selling a lot more of these. Um, I think I think the, that the reverse polarity method is becoming more popular as well. Um, the, the D98 and the D9B are both um, Russian germaniums, um, and they're vintage, um, and they're kind of a, a bit of a replacement for a 1N34. A, it's kind of the universal replacement for that, so it's good to have a few of those on hand, I think. Um, um, for uh, um, again, it's mainly for clipping, but um, uh, uh, actually, it's using a few different um, areas, um, some germanium fuzzes and things like that as well. 
Um, the 1N4148 or the 1N914, basically the exact same thing, um, is used a lot. That's one that you want to stock up on. It's almost as um, probably even more common than the 1N4001. Pretty much every overdrive and distortion's got one in it. So um, yeah, that's a good one to stock up on. Um, OA128 is a, a vintage specialty diode. Um, now these are voltage um, from, uh, what are they, voltage um, regulators. Um, you, you only need one of these when you need one of these. I wouldn't bother stocking up on them. So you're looking at all the 473s. So 4738, 4739, 4733, 4742. And OA126, whoops, sorry, I'm off. I'm looking at what I'm pointing at. OA126 is a, a expensive dinosaur, I wouldn't bother with it. And um, BAV20 is not used very often, and OA128 is not, well, it's just another specialty diode, mainly for clipping. So that is pretty much all the diodes that I have. There's obviously a lot of others. If you've got suggestions for people, please leave it in the comments, because um, um, I'm sure other people would like to know if I've missed any that are very popular. Can't think of any offhand that I have, but if I have, please let me know. Put them in the comments for other people to see as well. So I guess you could break all that down to, um, as far as the diodes go, the capacitors are pretty straightforward, the electrolytic capacitors, but as far as the diodes go, um, you want a 1N4148 or a, 1N, uh, a 1N914. Um, you want to stock up on some of those. Um, you'll be using them a lot. You want a 1N4001, you want some of those, that's another one to stock up on. Um, probably going to want 1N5817, not as popular as 1N4001, but still pretty popular. It's getting, becoming more popular as well. Um, just have a few of those, kick it about. And some clipping diodes, you know, like some of the, some of the germanium um, Russians or the, um, um, uh, you know, I already said, the 1N4148. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, um, for silicon and then maybe like a like a D98 or something for um, germanium or whatever other germanium you can find that you like. Um, they all sound pretty good. Um, they all sound very similar, like a silicon sounds similar, germanium sounds, sounds similar, um, shocky sounds similar. Um, so when I say shocky, I'm talking about BAT 41s. Um, they also sound similar, so, so stock up on a BAT 41 or a BAT 46. Um, and, um, and yeah, that pretty much covers the the common diodes, um, um, yeah, pretty much. I wouldn't bother with any of the voltage regulators because they will be um, uh, something that you'll need um, when you need them. Pretty much the voltage, um, the zeners. Um, you, you, like, you when you need it, you'll 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 get it when you need it. Pretty much. I, I wouldn't bother with stocking up on any of those. So that's it for this video. Hopefully, it's helping you work out um, what you want to order um, and stock up on. Um, so next video, we'll look at the um, ICs and the transistors and pretty much anything else that, I, that we've missed. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's helping you get your head around how to order up um, uh, or fill out your parts box with um, stuff that you're going to use a lot. See you in the next video.